Okay, we are. Wait, it says preparing live stream, but Zoom tells me it's live. It says there it's live. Okay. Cool. All right. Well, welcome. Um, this is our first uh, product strategy OKR uh, review, the how to achieve uh, presentation. Uh, I added the link to the slides in the doc. And then just in the first agenda item, I just reminded that this is uh, live streamed and I believe it is a public live stream. So uh, no discussion of anything we don't normally discuss confidentially, but in this case, we do discuss acquisitions. Um, so we can't name any companies. Anyway, uh, feel free to start reading and then let me know when you have questions. Thanks, uh, thanks, Mark. Um, I believe the strategy reviews are useful in and of themselves, but is there a way to get even closer to results? Because it does feel like an activity instead of a, a result. That's a great question. Um, I think I started this process thinking about just what, I mean, my goals, I think I agree with the stated goals, but the metrics are more tasks and not uh, um, not any kind of objective, uh, you know, measurement. Um, maybe, maybe um, instead of like picking a category and doing a strategy review, we can make it more about things that really, really matter. For example, and I'm gonna consciously name a competitor, uh, we're not very good at re uh, replacing Jira right now. And it's a big problem because we have like our 10 stages, we're able to take out anyone, but not Jira. So hopefully we're focusing the, uh, the the plan team on that had an issue tracking team. We're starting a special import team. <clears throat> but I think there's, it's something that could use a little extra oomph. Now the problem is it's not a, it's not more than a year out. We need to get started with this today. However, there needs to be kind of a vision how in three years are we going to make sure that every, every Jira customer is like, okay, GitLab is a great replacement. This is a no brainer and it's easy to switch. So like I'm playing a bit with words to make what is like a short term thing to make it into a long term thing. So I'm conscious of that, but we have nobody else that is like, I'm, I'm concerned about something like this. I've, I've struggled to explain it to investors. Like, yeah, we had, free landing spots, plan, create, verify, except for plan. It's great if you're not using Jira yet because we have all the functionality, but we don't have a good import strategy. Um, and I'm not sure if this is something you want to take on, but it could be much more focused. Like, hey, define how in three years we're going to uh, make sure that, I don't know, X percent of Jira customers are switching or something like that. It's an idea. I'm not sure that it's a good idea. So the the crux of what you're saying, I think, is absolutely a great idea. And yesterday we did our first uh, strategy review, exactly how to go after project management, how to displace Jira, um, and that was recorded. Uh, it's not published yet for some reason. It's taken a while. Um, but that's exactly the kind of thing I'm doing. The problem is, again, if you want to measure the business results, you can't measure that for a few years. Um, so it makes it really hard to turn into a quarterly OKR quarterly OKR is we make a strategy. So if you're trying to really stretch and say, well, the the objective result is that I made a strategy that resonates. Like we bounce it off our cab. What percentage of our cab customers say, well, if you deliver that, yes, I would then switch. I mean, that's one way to make it more objective. Um, hey, Mark? Yeah. Um, the, the format for these strategy reviews, at least the ones that we're going to do at the section level, include themes. And so part of this is gr agreeing that, hey, in the next year, these are the big themes we want to press on. And once we agree on that, which this first phase should, 
probably be about activity, about getting the work done and agreeing on what the themes are. I could then imagine tying activities back to that theme, like how much did we invest against the theme or how much did we mature the theme? You could al almost start to try to move themes either in addition to or rather than categories. And you know, maybe there's a couple that boil up out of the whole thing is like company level themes, like we have to do that. And then we can measure progress against that much like we might maturity category, a category of maturity. I, I'm not sure about company wide things here because I wanna make sure that the, the PM stays the DRI and that we don't start with any overreach in company plans. Companies that do that tend to have low velocity because now you have to align everything to a company plan. So number one objectives, like preserve velocity. Um, but I, I like the thinking about, look, it's a good strategy if it resonates. So how can we measure if it resonates? I think measuring it only with a customer advisory board is not the smartest thing uh, because you get the innovators dilemma where your existing customers will only say to you, just to prove what you have now, because we're using that. So that makes a lot of sense from their perspective. Um, but I think we need to go broader to see if our strategy is on point. And I want something that is objective. So it's, it's a stretch, but maybe we can have a blog post with the strategy and just measure how many page views that gets. So as first thing you talked about the cab, uh, just to talk a little bit, the innovator's dilemma doesn't quite apply in some sense because the cab members, a lot of them, at least the ones we're talking about, aren't using us, they are using Jira. And so this is still a, what would it take to displace them? But I get the broader context that even so that's only 10 or 20 people and we need much bigger numbers. A blog post would be something I feel like if you coupled that with some kind of a survey, like literally like let's put the blog post out there and then be like, here, click on this. How much do you agree? And let's get some objective measure one to five, one to 10 of like, you know, if we hit this, would you switch from Jira? You know, some pointed question. Um, okay. I, um, that's getting closer. That's, that's cool. So a blog post that has exactly the same content as in the handbook. So it should just be a dump of the handbook, not creating any new content. Yep. And then the goal is not the percentage, but we want a hundred people to, so we do a rating of one to five and we're going to look at like how they rate it, but we want a hundred people to give a five or something like that. And I don't care about how many people, so you can have, end up with a score of 1.1, but at least it, if it creates a lot of controversy, we right. will have learned something as well. We might have to revise the strategy but at, at least it was clear and opinionated and we learned something and we learned we were wrong, which is super helpful in itself. So yep. um, I'm much more afraid of strategy that is not articulate, that doesn't inspire people, than I'm afraid of a strategy that's wrong. I think the first thing tends to happen a lot more than the second. For sure. And the, the, the next step of the strategy review is to get customer validation, but but yeah, to be honest, we haven't specified what that means. I left it up to the individual PMs. Yeah, to no. like and you're very, well, when you're not arguing with people, you're very likable. So people will, like you'll say to, you'll say something and, and people will kind of agree. So I think I, I like it when it's, it's not, per, what, when it's less personal uh, yep. because it's easier to kind of gather. Here's a question around the blog post idea. Like, isn't there a certain kind of person who's going to read our blog post and doesn't that actually confound the value of the things we're talking about here? Yes and no, but not in a bad way because we still want GitLab users who are using us for SCM and other things to then just dump Jira in this particular, and we're harping on Jira a lot, but there's more, more than just Jira at play here, but we want them to dump their other tools to then embrace this part. So I think it's still relevant. We're not looking to make a point solution. I don't want to displace, I don't want to kill Jira and you know Spinnaker and all these other tools as absolute point solutions. I want people who are otherwise customers of ours to adopt more of our solution and, and then get more and more value and, and be able to displace more and more tools. Thanks for that context.
So one of the things here then, Scott, would be uh, that this plays a lot with the product side. And I'm a little reluctant to put a product strategy OKR that depends a lot on the PMs executing. But together, you know, I think this needs to be like a joint OKR. Um, I, I don't think so. I think you're responsible for the strategy and then they're responsible for executing. So it's kind of, you paint a picture for the next three years. The PM team does like next release up to one year and the engineering team actually implements it. So um, yes, of course, everything is intertwined. So that's the easy right. part. Everything is intertwined. The, the, whole, the whole job is, the, is to un, make it, uh, measure it as separately as possible. So I don't think you should be responsible for like anything getting executed. I think you should be responsible for an appealing, clear and articulate strategy that resonates with at least some people. True, but even if that, it's not quite a dogmatic split of I am responsible for strategy. I mean, the PMs, it's a co-creation thing. The PMs need to be responsible for their strategy as well. It's, it'd be actually quite a horrible outcome if I dictated what their strategy was and they just came up with a one-year plan. I mean, they have absolute input into it and it's a back and forth. Sure, so, but the whole... <laughs> That, that's clear. Like everything is interrelated. Nobody, nobody, right. nobody disagrees. There's energy fields. Uh, there's gravity. Everything interrelates. <laughs> the, the idea is to get you to, to have this as OPR. So we want to get something measurable as something which is within your control and which is speedy. Huh? The imp getting the results, we want results in quarters so you can still adjust. So how are you going to get results after two weeks? That's that's a super hard thing to do. I think right. the blog post ratings are a way. I'm open to other ways. I'm less open to, um, for example, you could say, oh, do, do the PMs think you're doing a good job? I actually want you to feel totally free to disagree with the PMs and take it somewhere else. Sure. Hopefully you agree, but it shouldn't be a goal to agree. No, totally get that. But the way, just to be clear though, the way that we have currently drawn things is that the PMs are responsible for the um, category, stage and section documents, which include strategy and plan and roadmap. And so they're, they own that thing. And I review and help them make sure that that strategy is great. But I, it's not like I write that section and they write the section below. I mean, they actually do own the strategy. So I want to make sure I'm not just co-opting their words and making it my strategy. I mean, they need to ultimately own the strategy. Hey, Mark, is there a, is there a place for a GitLab level three-year product strategy that's sort of across the whole thing that states where you think DevSecOps as a, as a combined market is going and then that – those are your words. No, of course. That's your view. And then the PMs in the course of building something more narrow, like a category or a section level strategy, would need to make sure that they're consistent and complementary to that. There definitely is. But I but if nothing else, this conversation is is very tactical. It's about a it's a narrow, you know, JIRA displacement and and other kinds of uh, you know, specific competition. So that's a little bit narrower, but yeah, there's, there's absolutely a place for the larger context. I think honestly, in, in thinking about the larger context though, the best way to communicate it is to talk about some of these more specific things like the like in the 2019 vision, one of the key things was we're going to go after these four categories, you know, going after JIRA or going after project management, application security testing, CDRA and VSM. I mean, those were called out as four key areas. So it's not that every category needs this level of stuff, but those four ones do. And I think that helped convey a part of the vision. The other parts of the vision were about getting beyond just dev and ops into sec, into designers, et cetera. And, and then also the use case, the, what we now call the application types. Um, so those were the, the four prongs, right? That we had uh, identified. So what if Mark and a PM disagree on the strategy for a specific stage or section or whatever? I think, I think in the end, it's very hard. It's like between the DRI 
and like so there's like whose section is it but there's also like who's who's responsible on that time frame That's think, one reason why I feel like a company level three year strat statement or not company, but product line would be helpful because then it could be framed in terms of, you know, here's what's most important. Like, we're gonna I, go after I think it's like the summary of a book you write it or the conclusion of an article you write it at the end. So it's right. going to be, I'm not against that, but it's going to be composed of themes within the individual status. I don't think. But maybe not. What, what do you think? So it doesn't necessarily have to be right, but what do you think is an example of something we'd learn from such a strategy? Um, well, I can give an example uh, from SendGrid. So we had a company level strategy, which articulated that we were going to target the mid market with our product, with our main product in investment rather than large enterprise or tiny SMB. And that, that distinction was important when you then went the, to the next click below that what, when we were talking about email infrastructure or email marketing, it became clear to the author of that, like what's the market segment we're targeting? So I can imagine Mark says, all right, sex, the, the security part of this is most important. Like we must serve that, that, that may influence how we think about something at a, at a more yeah, narrow so, level. So we, we, um, so for GitLab, we're unlikely to do that. We want to serve the entire market from, from Raspberry Pis to hundred thousand uh, people companies. Um, that was an example from Sengri. It might not be relevant yeah. here, but there may be other, there may be other insights that pop out of it like that. I, I'm not sure. Like we, we looked at like, hey, where should the relative investment be? And then yeah. uh, looked at the addressable market. I think that was a good analysis. Yeah. Um, I showed that to investors, Mark. Uh, it was helpful. And they didn't argue with it. And they're the expert in uh, the sizing markets. Great. Again, I... I I'm really afraid that we'll spend a month, uh, a quarter on this, Scott, and we're not going to get anywhere, that we're not going to get any big insights out of it. That's what I'm really afraid of. And right. um, so and we have like such staring us in the face problems right now. Right. The theory and quarter, getting proper data from our systems, uh, making sure that you can attach other Kubernetes clusters, et cetera. Um, but that's, it's a bit hard because this is a strategy session. So yeah, it's about supposed a longer, to be long term. <laughs> it's supposed to be long term, but I have the feeling that sometimes things aren't happening because RPMs don't see the long term. Like we, we had a big problem getting focus on Linux and Windows runners. You suggested to kind of cut the step stone to that from the OKRs because it wasn't clear what the long term vision there was. And we had a lot of trouble getting that back in and prioritized. That's what I think like strategy can help. Like in three years, we're going to be making a lot of money by charging for consumption. Um, and how, a, how's, how's GitLab.com going to charge for consumption in three years? How much that's, a, that's a great point. That, that, that's an example of a thing that might get called out in a, a product-wide one is, uh, what's the, is what's the business model look like in two or three years? That's not something that's going to pop out in a VSM review, uh, things like that have yeah. a place in a company-wide uh, product strategy. Yeah, but I, I do want to make it head then ask for that and not for the product strategy because a product strategy, that's, that's like a never ending task. So I would, if we both think that's worthwhile, like, okay, let's, let's, let's go Let's ask Mark, if Mark also agrees, let's ask Mark to produce something like that, but then give it a month. And then we want to know in three years, what will GitLab.com charge for? Will it charge for runner minutes or will it charge for compute? Will it charge for Kubernetes clusters or for storage? Will it charge for IO or for bandwidth, like et cetera? Um, I, I don't know. 
and it's, it's a pretty hard question to answer and it's going to lead to like where we go incrementally but i'd rather like say okay that's a big question mark you have a month to figure it out and say hey mark you have a quarter to figure out a company-wide strategy and then hope that those things show up in that strategy i don't think oh, that's yeah. worthwhile yeah um, yeah i'd agree uh, i think i think the we'll idea of going up to Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I think we'll get a lot out of the the stage and section specific reviews. I have no issue with charging ahead. I just feel like that company wide view could could very well create some insights and or clarity for the team. And, and I think it's worth doing over a quarter or two. Right. I don't disagree that, yeah, having a company or product wide strategy makes sense. But at the same time, I feel like, honestly, we our um we've we've got a stated strategy of some kind right we're you know devops platform develop, delivered as a single application and that is the same marching orders we've had for a couple of years now and as i think about you know uh, as i think about the next time we talk about our strategy what words would i use differently and the reality is it's 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 all small incremental differences. We are not suddenly going to go do something else. Like, no, we know exactly what we're doing. We're still just executing on the strategy we've had for a couple of years. So I do think there's a lot of subtleties in that, like the .com, how does that play in? What about, uh, you know, what are our target markets and things like that? There are some questions that I think we should answer, but we have a strategy. The acute problem we have and the quarterly problem we have is aligning what PMs are working on day to day or month to month with that strategy. And so that's why these strategy reviews, I think are the most important thing to focus on. I don't, I don't think there's any disagreement. This is the right things to work on. It's just that it's like anti OKR in terms of that the key result is do a thing, do a task and not achieve a result. And so, and I've been one of the biggest people pushing against OKRs like this. So it sucks that I made more of these, but I would love to have some kind of objective measure, but it is really hard to make an objective measure versus a three-year plan. I think this direction of talking about blog post or validation of some kind, surveys, et cetera, I think it's absolutely worth looking at. I think we should get more practiced at A, doing the validation, but also doing the validation with numbers, like not just bounce it off 10 people and they all agree versus no, bounce it off 10,000 people. And here's the numbers that say whether they agree or not. I mean, that's a radically different answer. But the net of it though, I think still this is the right work, is reviewing like, how are we going to go after Jira? How are we going to go after Spinnaker? How are we going to go after, you know, whatever, the AST markets, the, the VSM markets? How are we going to actually make those things work? I think that's really, really valuable. And then at the st section review, that's where hopefully when we do the CICD review, we're going to have a big question about runner minutes and everything else. Um, but maybe there does need to be something dot com specific i'm totally open to that i think it's a really great topic i don't mind adding that as another thing to review um as an independent because it's not tied to a stage let's let's call it consumption pricing because i think that's the big question right now like how we're going to charge for that what are other people doing um so the only thing i would add there though is that i actually feel like there is a lot of strategy discussion to be had or decisions to be made on dot com as a whole because like Dot com is just a tiny fraction of our total revenue. How are we going to grow that? What are the things that are missing? Consumption pricing is only a part of what might be holding people back from dot com. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot of things. And actually, I really worry that like the focus on Windows runners and things like that might be premature because nobody's using dot com to start with for their production well, workloads. Two, two, so, two, two things. Um, well, first of all, not nobody. And eh, this is a public yes, thing, so I know you're exaggerating, but just oh, totally. don't, don't, don't want to go have that go on record without uh, repeating it. Yep. Second thing is, yeah, we need to grow .com, and we're launching four growth teams. And the answer is always going to be we need better data. We need to understand better. So I don't think I, you can look into that, and you'll come to the same conclusion. True. And then I think consumption pricing is not just .com. Like, Mm -hmm. The big, the or default sales motion is have people implement GitLab, have them spin up shared runners, have them add Kubernetes cl uh, clusters. That middle part, shared runners, for a lot of companies, is very hard. It would be great if they can buy them from us. So I agree. don't don't think that consumption pricing is limited to .com. No, that's a really good point. And so actually, I should be a little bit more specific. 
when I've talked about this in other channels, I don't call it .com. I do call about, uh, maybe I call it SaaS, but it's the services, um, the services side. So consumption pricing for self-managed or .com, but also other .com that may not be consumption. It's just anything that we offer as a service, whether it's a monthly subscription. I think, or I think that's. I think it's. But that's confusing. SaaS because SaaS means .com. Like it's used as. An, yeah, that's true. Just call it consumption pricing, and make it make it a bit wider. Um, and I think, so that's where I see we need a longer term company wide strategy and yeah. tiers. Like we have tiers, we have a buyer based open core, open core model. True. We haven't aligned to tiers yet. We don't have themes in our tiers. Like if you look at our investor presentation, they didn't call, call it out, but I, I think we could be a lot better saying, hey, what is what are the big themes in what I'm getting in premium? Because right now it says geo and for yeah. starter, it's just all that. Like that's that's not that's not a great way to communicate things like that. True. So that those are two bigger questions I'd like you to focus on. But I think not this quarter. I think your OKRs for this quarter are great. I just want them to be a bit more measurable. Yeah. Okay. Are you? What do you think about the hundred five votes per review blog post? I think it's a great idea. I'd love to try it. I. First off, love the idea of pushing a survey on a blog post. I don't think we've done that before. But yeah, like, thanks, hey, how much thanks, do you agree with this? Cool. <laughs> okay, let's do that. We're out of time. Um, let's have that. If you can add those measurable results, and then uh, let's do the strategy reviews, the section reviews, and the acquisition ones. And uh, I put the bigger question of tiers and consumption pricing on our agenda as well. It's not okay. Perfect. We're not. We're gonna. They might not be part of the OKRs. Doesn't mean we can't uh, work and think about them. Absolutely true. What do you think, Scott? Thanks, everyone. Sounds good to me. Cool. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, y'all. Bye. Thanks. Ciao.